Dear students, in this module, we are going to talk about a very interesting and perhaps uh, one of the very dominating perspective of uh, sociology, which is the conflict perspective. Conflict perspective, as postulated by Karl Marx, describes the inequality or the inherent inequality being produced by the modern societies. Karl Marx ka ye khayal hai ke maashre jo hai wo conflict se hi explain ho sakte hai. Especially the modern society. Or conflict jo hai, it is the essence of modern social life. Conflict kya hai? Uh, it emphasizes the role of conflict and power and the ability of some or uh, some of those in power to influence on those who are not in power to have that social control. Marx ka ye khayal hai ke maashre jo hain usme do tarah ke groups exist karte hain. Ek jo jin ke paas abundant resources hain aur dousre jin ke paas resources nahi hain. Those who have the resources and those who do not have the resources. And those who have the resources, they can exploit those who do not have the resources based on the certain composition of the society. Uh, society uh, as a group jo hai, ye heavily determined by economic system as per Karl Marx. Why it is heavily determined by the economic system? Uska ye khayal hai ke Moashre ke jitne bhi social institutions hain un sab ke andar economic resources ya economic functioning jo hai wo ek predominant role play karti hai. Aur jin ke paas resources hain wo chonke ek exploitative exploitating position ke upar baithe hue hain और उसकी मदद से उसकी बदौलत बाकी लोगों को जो है वो कंट्रोल कर सकते हैं और यही कंट्रोलिंग पोजीशंस जो हैं वो आपकी पॉलिटिकल पावर्स के अंदर भी डोमिनेंटली रिफ्लेक्ट होती हैं तो दूसरे लफ्जों में जो कैपिटलिस्टिक सिस्टम है ये ना सिर्फ आपके इकोनॉमिक सिस्टम को जो है प्रोड्यूस करता है बल्कि आपके बाकी इंस्टीट्यूशंस प्रीडोमिनेंटली पॉलिटिकल इंस्टीट्यूशन को भी जो है वो इफेक्ट कर रहा है and social order is maintained not by the consensus but by the domination of power in the hands of others in the hands of those with the greatest political and economic social resources uh, when consensus exists people being united around common interest are often in opposition to the other groups to continuous tussle jo hai wo do groups ke andar maujood hai ek को वो प्रोलिटेरियट कहता है दूसरे को बोगजवाजी कहता है बोगजवाजी क्लास जो है वो इकोनॉमिक सिस्टम में वर्कर्स की एक्सप्लोइटेशन की बदौलत अपने लिए मैक्सिमम कैपिटल या मैक्सिमम रिसोर्स जो है वो जनरेट करती रहती है और वर्किंग क्लास को जो है वो सिर्फ और सिर्फ सबसिस्टेंस लेवल के ऊपर रखती है so, uh, persisting only because of the groups who are economically at advantageous position and by using these social positions they can do their personal betterment while on the other hand those who are on unequal positions they are always being submissive they are always being disadvantageous position at the disadvantageous position so in a nutshell shaping the beliefs of the other members of the society by controlling the public information, holding power in institutions such as education and religion that shapes what people think and what people know. Overall, a uh, functionalist perspective, it explains by the fact that whatever is happening in society is happening because of the conflictive nature that is inherently being produced by the modern capitalist economic system.